hi y'all welcome to out seeking rainbows <laughs> if you're new here my name is bex i live in this van that i converted uh, full-time with my dog lady who is a 12 year old pity and i just want to talk a little bit today about what i do for a living how i figured out what i want to do and how to do it what i used to do you know just some things that people tend to ask me about um because you know a lot of people want to know well how can you travel full time what do you do so i just want to talk a little bit about that today so i hope you enjoy Working for myself has given me the freedom to set my own hours, work with people I like and respect, get paid what I feel I'm worth, and of course, it gives me the freedom to travel. In 2019, I was working two jobs I didn't enjoy, not making enough money. Every day I went to work, I became increasingly dissatisfied. At this point, I had obtained a bachelor's degree in organizational management and a master's degree, and I felt undervalued. Just a little break here so I can talk about my Patreon. If you've been here a while and you really like my content, I hope you'll consider uh, supporting my channel over on Patreon. I've got three different tiers. I've got a $5, $10, and $25 tier, and they all offer different fun things. So I hope you'll take a minute, go over there. I've got the link right here, and I hope to see you there. All right, thanks. Back to the programming. <laughs> For years while raising my kids, I just didn't have the resources to quit my job to pursue my own enterprise. Timing was everything for me. By the time both of my kids were old enough, Louie out on her own and my son forging out on his own, I found the opportunity to make this very scary move to business ownership. How did I end up with the business that I did? I started Googling jobs you can do on the road, um, virtual jobs, nomadic jobs, things like that. And I'm telling you, after like typing in just a couple times, virtual assistant appeared on the screen. And I was like, huh, what is this? This was before the pandemic. And so, you know, people weren't working from home as much. It like wasn't a thing. And I was like, huh. And so I dug a little deeper and I realized like, oh my gosh, all of the years of the work that I had been doing, I had been a an office manager on, and worked in administration pretty much my whole adult life. And so I was kind of in training for this business opportunity. So as soon as I saw that, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And so I did started researching more, you know, getting more information, what kinds of things would I need to, to actually be able to do it and ended up getting my business license, set up a website, um, you know, and created bank accounts, all the kind of stuff that you need with a, a business. And I just started talking to everybody that I knew and came across uh, what I was doing. And by the time I opened my business, <laughs> I had my first client. And that first client told a friend of theirs about me and I got that client. And then it just kind of snowballed into, you know, the business I have today that has freed me to be able to travel and be my own boss, which is seriously the most amazing thing. And I'm very grateful for it every day. I work hard. I work a lot of hours sometimes, uh, but there's flexibility. There's joy. I'm able to, you know, if I have a client that I don't, we don't seem to mesh, I'm able to let them go and I can make those choices for myself. So I don't know how many of you know what a virtual assistant is. I do, I'm like a gal Friday. I pretty much do anything that a client needs administratively. So I have, a, like I mentioned earlier, I have a couple clients uh, now that I work with and uh, one of them is a marketing company and so I helped that client write radio copy. We check emails, write emails together, um, I pay bills, I do invoicing, 
things like that. So uh, there's a range of projects that I, I do with her. Sometimes I help her with personal things, you know, sometimes she needs help like figuring out a problem that she has, um, like in searching it, researching it online or something. And then my other client is a commercial property management company. And so I do a lot of like assistant property management kind of stuff for her. And so, and then over the years I've done, you know, other property management jobs. I've done bookkeeping. I've done a wide range of things. And so that's another thing that I really enjoy about being a virtual assistant is that it really kind of keeps me on my toes. I enjoy, you know, having each day look a little bit different kind of makes things more exciting and it's been a very rewarding choice that I made to open this particular business. I'm here working at a client's today and this is kind of what I do. I'm in the town that I used to live in and so I have two clients that I work with uh, when I'm here in town and this is one of them and so yeah this is so when I'm in town I come into their offices I help them to organize sort things work on their computers I work on files if they have any technology technological issues I help them with that um, with this client I'm actually going to be helping them organize their office um, we're getting it painted here hopefully this weekend fingers crossed and you know we'll be organizing and so that's kind of what I do so I do a little bit of here and there kinds of things uh, with and I've ranged over the years I've ranged from having uh, just one client to having six clients at a time and now I'm down to two clients which I would say I probably work about I'd say maybe 25 to 30 hours a week if that that's like on a higher end it just kind of depends on what time of the month and kind of what projects we have going so yeah so it's really it's very flexible work uh, most of the time I do have one client one of my clients I do have to be on like during banking hours and so when I am working with them you know I'm working from like 9 30 to maybe two or three or something like that so I waver from do I need more clients do I want to work more hours do I you know I'm like any other person that lives in a capitalistic uh, you know country I have credit card debt and all of that kind of stuff so you know I do have expenses I am super fortunate that I don't have to make car payments because Maribel has paid off my van and so that really helps a lot so you know I'm not having to seek 40 hour a week plus you know hours so that's really helpful so I really just pay for insurance and you know like smaller bills but I do have quite a bit of credit card debt debt which I don't like to be I don't I don't like to share that but that's the truth <laughs> you know and that's not uncommon I'm sure so that's you know I'm hoping to get some you know larger projects or when I get to Alaska I might even work like a part-time job somewhere at one of the local boutiques or restaurants or something like that uh, to try to make some extra cash I kind of go back and forth with that too because I'm like working for myself is so wonderful <laughs> you know I'm kind of making my own hours most of the time to going to work with for somebody else is like a really big difference and so I'm thinking if I do do that I probably will do something different I'm thinking it would be fun to be like an executive chef or um like a personal chef or something like that for somebody wealthy on the island so I might pursue something like that because if I'm going to do something other than what I'm doing I might as well do something I really love right so so that's a little synopsis of kind of what I do.